Good Saturday morning. It's August 15th, 2021, and today marks 40 years of holy matrimony for Diane and I. Today we're in Nehemiah chapter 10, verse 39 says, We promise together not to neglect the temple of our God. Diane and I are staying at a bed and breakfast in Niagara Falls, and I'm doing my devotions in this beautiful garden. Beautiful gardens must not be neglected. You remember the children's rhyme, Mary, Mary, quite contrary, how does your garden grow? <laughs> as someone with a brown thumb, this garden amazes me. I, I, as I was getting my shoes on uh, to come out here, the homeowner picked up my breakfast tray and said, I'll set this up for you in the garden. And yeah, sure, I can, I can hear the highway noise, but mostly I'm hearing birds sing and crickets chirp. And I'm admiring the fact that there is not a single weed in this garden. Stop and smell the roses, they say. We too quickly take such beautiful things for granted. But you know who never takes the beauty of a garden for granted? A gardener. <laughs> if I'm being honest, personally, I don't like gardening. I like to see the beauty of other people's gardens. I, I love to eat the fruit of those who have fruit and vegetable gardens, but I don't like getting dirt under my own fingernails. I'll mow the grass, but if I had my druthers, I wouldn't even do that. Spiritually, sometimes I have problems there as well. I tend to be reluctant to get the spiritual dirt under my fingernails. I don't naturally gravitate toward the hard work of spiritual development. My natural tendency is to neglect spiritual gardening. But if I'm ever going to see God at work in my life, and if I hope uh, to see growth and power in the lives of others, and if I want to see uh, the church that I'm a part of grow and thrive and be blessed and bless others, I'm going to have to get some spiritual dirt under my fingernails. Don't neglect the things of God. Let's cultivate revival through the reading of God's word, confession and repentance, doing the work of God. In Nehemiah, all the people promised together not to neglect the things of God. O oh Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You made the heavens the starry host. <laughs> Birds and crickets. Lord, everything that I look at, I see your hand. God, help me to understand and help me to obey your word. And God, help me to worship you as you deserve. And God, help me to not neglect your temple. Amen. I'm going to spend the day with my bride. God bless you.